I want to go to Mars. I wrote those words when I was 12 years old. Mars is a planet ready for life. In 20 hours, six astronauts will travel to Mars, not to visit, but to live there. We started with a very simple idea. What would happen if an astronaut discovered she was pregnant on the first flight to Mars? So we called NASA and they said, have you been listening to our phone calls? And I said, what are you talking about? And they said, it's going to happen. We don't know quite what to do. We're not prepared to give birth in flight or on Mars. We're not prepared to abort. We're not prepared to turn the ship around. So that launched the whole story. I got to wear an actual spacesuit that had already been to space, so that was quite exciting to put something on that, like, been out of this world. This heart will simply not have the strength in the Earth's gravity. Bones will be brittle. He wouldn't even survive the trip back to Earth. So the child remains classified on Mars? Yes. Gardner is the, well, he's the first human born on Mars, and uh, I guess this film is about his journey to find out who he is and find out where he belongs, uh, and his quest to find his dad and to meet uh, Tulsa, this girl he's been talking to. She stumbles upon this guy in a chat room and finds a true connection and it's kind of their journey to figuring out who they are and, and where they fit in the world. I'm raised by scientists. He knows about Earth. Hey Tulsa. I'm out of here the second I turn 18. I just wish I could go with you. And he knows it's all happening without him. Bring him home. Three years ago they sent me the script. I loved its scope but at the same time I love that it had this really intimate heart beating at the center of it, a love story. It's uh, it, 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 in that massive setting, I just thought, beautiful. It's a really beautiful movie and a, and a really interesting relationship. So for these people who are all loners, some by choice, some not, um, and in finding each other, kind of find this reason to, to be alive. My biggest takeaway from this movie is like, what it is to be in water, you know, what it is to be in nature, what it is to live the life that we do. We're so privileged and instead of thinking of it as like, you know, entitlement, like we need it, we deserve it, um, you know, appreciate it a little more. It's a strange amalgamation of so many different genres and ideas. It is a love story, it's a road trip, and it's a coming of age film set in space for some of it. So it's, uh, yeah, it'll be original and it'll be unique and it'll be, uh, uh, hopefully, it will touch you. His heart can't handle our gravity. He wasn't mine. He's running out of time. I was scared I wouldn't know how to be human. You made me human. Tulsa, what's your favorite thing about Earth? You are Gardner.